and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our Moon and Stars Mobile die. This mobile is so super cute. And we are also going to be introducing our Big Scripty Words Hot Foil Plates. These hot foil plates are so fun and have the best sentiments. And the other really amazing thing is that they work with the previously released Big Scripty Words coordinating dies. So you can use that coordinating die both with the stamp set and with these brand new hot foil plates. So let's go ahead and check these all out. First, we're gonna take a look at the Moon and Stars Mobile, and this mobile is so cute and so super sweet for baby cards. It has, of course, the mobile, and then all of these great little accents that you can layer over top of the mobile to give it a really custom look. I also love these little stars and moons and clouds just to use them on accents as cards without the mobile too, so they're just fun little tiny little accents that are perfect for cards. My favorite way to add these on is to add a little drop of glue and then layer on each of the different elements, whether it's the stars, clouds, moons. There's also that little round piece that you can add to the front of the mobile that gives it some fun dimension. And then this cute little bow at the top just is the perfect finishing touch. These are the Big Scripty Words Hot Foil Plates, and we're gonna start off with three of them. There are six in this set. And the green light is on on our hot foil machine, so it's ready. We're gonna add the plates and press the timer button. You're gonna wait about a minute until that light is solid, and then we can add our foil face down. We'll add our piece of paper on top of that. And then this hot foil glimmer machine comes with two plates, so we're gonna layer those on top. We'll pop the whole platform off, and then we can run it through the die cut machine off camera, and then we're gonna bring that right back, and we're gonna have this beautiful gold shiny impression with these delicate words. And oh my gosh, these are just so pretty. You can hot foil these words directly on to your projects. We did that with a really cute cupcake card we did in yesterday's video, or you can die cut them with the coordinating dies, and we'll be showing you that in just a little bit. So these are the three remaining words in the Big Scripty Word set, and I love this set because it has these great general sentiments like big hugs, congrats, happy birthday, love ya. It's just such a great set. And so once again, we put those on there, we pressed the timer button. Once it stopped flashing and it's solid green, we can add our foil face down. Then we'll add our piece of paper over top of that. And the two plates that come with this Glimmer Hot Foil machine, you can use other hot foil machines as well. We'll run that through the die cut machine off camera and bring it back. And now you'll see that we have this beautiful shiny detail onto our cardstock. And oh my gosh, isn't that just so gorgeous? It's just so pretty and just so delicate. And so you could hot foil these directly onto your card, or you can use these coordinating dies. These coordinating dies came out a long time ago with the Big Scripty Word stamp set. And what I love about them is that they're gonna work with the hot foil plates too. So we're gonna line them up, hold them in place with some low tack tape, we'll run it through the die cut machine, and look at that, isn't that so pretty? I just love these die cut. I think they feel and look so special, and that shiny look of the hot foil is just such the perfect detail for cards. And so here you can see the happy birthday, congrats, love ya, big hugs, and thanks. So the first thing we're going to do is create a card with the moon and stars mobile. So here it is here, and we're going to be die cutting that out of some white cardstock. We're also going to be die cutting all of the cute little details, like the bow and the stars, the moons, the clouds, and all of those little details for the top of the mobile too. And right now we are recreating a beautiful card by Megan, so thank you so much, Megan. So now that we have all these little details, I'm gonna add some color to them. You could do that by cutting it out of pattern paper or colored cardstock. I also think it would be really pretty to cut things out of some shimmer cardstock or metallic cardstock or holographic. But in this case, we're going to be adding some detail with our markers to white cardstock, which is a really quick and easy way to add some cute detail to these pieces. You'll also see that we cut the round part of the mobile out of some wood grain cardstock, which is another way to add some fun texture. So for the moon, we used some warm grays, and then we're adding tiny little dots with a darker warm gray marker to give it some texture. And then for the stars, all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of dark yellow to the outside and then just blending it out with medium and light. And that just gives it a nice little gradient. You could also use some ink with a little finger dauber and get a similar look too. Then the next step is we'll work on our clouds and we'll add just a little bit of blue and then we're gonna work our way on down to our lightest blue marker to have these beautiful blue clouds that'll give it a nice pop of color. And then for the bow, what we're gonna do is use those same blues but just bring in a marker that's a little bit darker just to make the bow really stand out. 
then to give a little bit of detail to this wood grain cardstock that we die cut the kind of round part of the mobile out of, we're going to add just a little bit of marker on the edges and that's going to help it match all of those other little details. So now we can start adding these to the mobile and this is when it really starts to come to life. So I like to add a little drop of glue onto the mobile and then layer my pieces on top. Now for this round part of the mobile, you could add the detail just to the front piece, which gives it kind of a cool dimension, or you can add them to both of the pieces, uh, just kind of depending on the look you want for your card. Um, I really like this look here, especially with the wood grain. It really reminds me of a mobile that's in my son's room because it has the wood little circle at the top and then all the strings with cute little characters hanging down. So now we're adding some more liquid glue and then layering the cute little elements on top. And this is one of my favorite things about playing with die cuts is layering the little pieces and kind of seeing the whole story come to life of this sweet little mobile. Oh, I love it so much. So now we'll add our little bow. You can add the bow all over different places. You can add it up by the little dot at the top where we put it here or at the very top of the string looks really cute too as if it's kind of like tied to the ceiling. There I just took a warm gray marker and added a little bit of detail to the little circles hanging down from that wooden rim. And then I'm just taking a white gel pen here and adding some details just to the wood grain pieces to kind of bring in some white on those pieces and help it tie it into the white of the rest of the mobile. And look how beautiful that is. Oh, I love it so much. And now that the mobile is all done, we need to create a room for our mobile. So that's what we're going to be doing next. We're going to be using some Let It Shine Starry Skies paper, and we're going to die cut that with the largest of the stitched rectangles. So that's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. And I just love this light blue with those cute little stars on it. Then we're going to take one of our newer dies, which is the secret garden window, but we're just going to use the outside plain frame. And that's going to die cut this little window into the room that we're creating for this mobile. So we're going to center that on our piece of paper here and then run that through the die cut machine. And now we have this great kind of arced window that we're going to be looking through. Next, I want to create the sky that we're looking through through the window. I feel like we're inside the room and we're looking out the window. So I'm going to take some prize ribbon distress ink, which is this really, really pretty blue. And I'm just using one color of distress ink, keeping it darker towards the top and then lighter towards the bottom. And I'm just building that color up. And I love that you can get a really pretty dynamic look even with just one color of ink. You can see that I laid the window over top to make sure I had enough ink and I realized I needed a little bit more towards the bottom. And then to add some kind of nighttime sky details, I'm going to spray some water on there and then pick that up with a paper towel there. And you can see already it kind of has the feeling of stars in the sky. And then here I have some Copic white. You could also use some white acrylic paint. This is just what I happen to have. It's actually really dry so I just spray water right in it. And then I pick it up with my paintbrush and tap the paintbrush to create more little starry sky sky details in the background and I think this is so pretty and I just have so much fun doing this I don't know what it is like tapping the paintbrush I just feel like an artist like I just love it I just think it looks so beautiful and so pretty so we'll set that aside to dry just a little bit and then we're going to come back and start bringing our elements together to see what they're all going to look like so for our window panel here, we're going to flip that over and we're going to add some tape runner. We're going to keep everything nice and flat on this card because we're going to be adding a lot of pieces and that's kind of going to be our dimension. So already you can see how beautiful that night sky is that we're looking out at through the window. And then we're going to add some adhesive to the back of that mobile that we worked on a little bit earlier. And we're going to layer that as if it's kind of hanging over the window that we're looking through. And I love telling a story like this as I create my cards. I just think it makes it so fun to kind of create and see what I have in my stash to make my little story in my head come to life. A little bit of the string was hanging over the top, so I just trimmed that right off. And now we're going to take some more wood grain cardstock, and we're going to die cut that with that same size stitch rectangle, and just trim that down to be about an inch high to be the floor at the bottom. And you see it's just going to line up right with the bottom of that window. And then to kind of help the look here, we're going to create the look of kind of like a little baseboard or a trim detail just to kind of help create that room feel. And the perfect die for that is this die that comes from our picket fence die. I love using this little piece. I just think it adds the perfect little detail onto cards because it's just kind of that little stitch detail that's so nice. And you'll see as we layer that over top of the floor, it really does give that kind of like baseboard wood trim floor feeling, which is so pretty. 
So I'll just take my scissors and trim off the excess. And now we can take a look at some stamp sets that we're gonna add into the scene. And we're gonna add one of my favorite new stamp sets, which is the Elephant Parade stamp set, because that mom and baby elephant has such a big place in my heart. She is just so sweet and so cute. And so here you can see we've got the cute little elephants. We're also gonna take the mice and the baby bottle and the peanuts from this set as well. And we'll start layering them into the scene. So we have mama and baby here underneath the moon and stars mobile. And then we can add some of the extra little features. So that little baby bottle is going to be so sweet, kind of layered off to the side there. And then we can add the little mice and the peanuts, which is so sweet. And that's going to go along with the sentiment that we're going to add later. It's going to say, welcome little peanut. And so I just love adding the little peanuts there to kind of bring that whole cute theme together. Megan has been adding some really cute hearts and stars to her cards lately, and she found her most favorite hearts and stars, which are in an oldie but a goodie stamp set called Yay Kites. I love this Yay Kite stamp set. It's just so sweet. The little critters are holding the kites, and you can have them use those words as the strings for the kites. But the little hearts and stars are also so cute in this set. So we went ahead and stamped, colored, and die cut some of those, and we're going to add those into the scene. And that's just going to fill in some of the space. I love the little pop of red with the hearts. And then we'll add some stars to the outside, which is going to help kind of bring in the yellow stars from the mobile. Next, we're going to work on our sentiment. So we have some Blue Jay cardstock here, which is a really pretty kind of navy color. And then we're going to prep this with an anti-static powder tool. And then we're going to stamp with some clear embossing ink. And then sprinkle on some white heat embossing powder. We can top off the excess and then heat that up with a heat tool. And you'll see that we'll have a nice bright white sentiment. Then to die cut the sentiment, I'm going to take out my banners. I love these banners so much. And we're going to go ahead and line that up with the sentiment. We can hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine, and then die cut this beautiful sentiment with the great little banner detail. I'll add some tape runner to the back of that, and then we're going to layer that right over the string that is holding that mobile in place. And you'll see that it just brings that nice navy up towards the top and really just kind of makes the whole scene work. Now here I have a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to add some tape runner to this and then we can layer this panel on top and this card is all done and I had so much fun creating this card. The background was so fun to make and I love that I just used one color of ink and some splatters to create a really pretty night sky and then the little mama and baby elephant under that mobile. Oh my goodness. I love layering all of the different elements on the mobile and I don't know this just makes me so happy. I kind of want to frame it and put it in my son's room because I just think it's just so cute and so sweet and that little mobile is just so awesome. It was so much fun to use this mobile in a cute scene and kind of create this whole room look. But now I wanted to use the mobile on its own. So we're going to be recreating a really gorgeous card by Inea today. And we're using the dotted moon and stars backdrop. And I love this backdrop. It's the perfect, beautiful little detail for a scene on a card. So we're going to die cut that out of some white cardstock. And we're going to be using some distress ink to ink it up. We're using salty ocean and faded jeans. And we're also going to be using villainous potion. I didn't show it there, but it ended up adding it in later as well um, and I'm using a foam ink blending tool for this um, and I usually use brushes but I just thought it would be fun to go back to these and I kind of forgot how much I love them they're really really great too so I'm building up the light blue the medium blue and then that purple and you'll see how pretty they look and I'm going back and forth between the colors to kind of build them up there you can see is when I brought in that villainous potion color because it's kind of like this perfect color it's a newer one so I tend to forget about it I went back and forth between all the colors to make sure that it was nice and blended. And then now we're going to go ahead and kind of let that dry off to the side. And then we're going to die cut all of these pieces from the mobile. I've die cut the mobile out of some fog cardstock, which is the lightest gray and it's so pretty. And then we also die cut that same mobile out of this holographic cardstock. And oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. We've also die cut some of the elements out of white cardstock and we're going to be adding some color to those with some Copic markers. Now here I wanted to show you another way to add some details on to this mobile. You can actually trim off parts of this. I wanted the holographic part to not only be the circular part but also to be those little dots. So I just went ahead and trimmed off the pieces. I also love trimming off the hanging stars, clouds, and moons and just having them hang onto my cards. It looks really, really beautiful that way too. So we're going to add some dots of glue to this piece and now we're going to have both the kind of circular round part of the mobile and the holographic but also those little dots too. 
and then we'll add the dot to the top to kind of tie all the holographic pieces in together. Next, I'm going to use Copic markers to add some color to these little elements. And so I'm adding a darker color towards the outside and then blending it out medium to light towards the other side. Sometimes I just do dark to light and I don't even bring in the medium marker. We're going to have pink stars and a yellow moon and some turquoise clouds. And I love that this shows that you don't necessarily need to use yellow for the stars and gray for the moon and blue for the clouds. You can really kind of play around with the colors on this and it looks so pretty. Then we'll add our little drops of glue onto the mobile and layer on all of our pieces. So we did our clouds first and now we're going to add those pink stars and there's something about the pink stars that feels so magical. And then we can add our bright yellow moon in the center. And is this not the most beautiful little mobile? That little holographic cardstock on there it just makes the whole thing feel so special. Now I wanted to add some height to this, and so I got Miles, my best little crafty helper here. He helped me clean up all of my pieces and then die cut some more mobile pieces. You could add foam squares behind the mobile, but sometimes I find it difficult to cut the little tiny pieces and layer them behind. And so the other way I love to add height to die cuts is to just die cut more out of them. So I die cut them out of white cardstock and we're gonna stack them to give us some height. So thank you so much to Miles for all of that die cutting help. He loves to die cut. <laughs> so now I'm going to take some liquid glue and just layer it on these pieces and start to stack them up. So I'm going to layer my decorated mobile on top of my plain piece and that's already starting to give us some height. And then I continue to layer on the rest of these pieces. So we'll add liquid glue and layer on another die cut. And then I wanted even more height. So I added liquid glue to the next one and then layered that behind. And now here you'll be able to see the beautiful height that this is going to give us on the card. And it's going to add some really great dimension. It also makes the mobile feel really, really sturdy too with all of those pieces of cardstock behind it. So we used some holographic cardstock for the mobile, so we had to bring some in to our background. So we're gonna layer this piece of holographic cardstock right onto a standard size card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we're gonna layer the dotted star and moon backdrop over top of that. And that's one of my favorite things about this backdrop is that it has those little cutout stars and moons so that you can layer different cardstocks behind and give it really cool and different looks. And with this holographic cardstock behind it, it feels so magical and so special. You can see just how pretty that is. Next up we're going to take out one of my favorite dies ever which is the puffy cloud borders and we're going to die cut some borders for the bottom of this card. So I have a piece of cardstock that's the same size as this card base. We're going to die cut that puffy cloud border and it's going to be this really pretty kind of like a ground at the bottom of our card. So we're going to add some tape runner onto that and then layer that at the bottom. And then we can add some adhesive to the back of our stacked up mobiles and we're going to layer that onto the card. And this shows you that you don't necessarily need to bring in a whole scene or even stamped images to make this mobile look really, really incredible on cards. We're going to trim off the excess of our string at the top there. And then now, oh, we're going to admire the holographic cardstock because it's so pretty. And then we're going to take out a corner chomper and I have not used my corner chomper in a really long time and I love how Yanea loves to round the edges of her cards. And you'll see as we round the edges there's something about it that just feels really soft and pretty and just finished on the card. I think it looks absolutely amazing and I'm going to have to bring out that corner chomper more often. So now we're going to do some hot foiling. So we're going to take out our big scripty words and we're going to take out the word congrats. We're going to layer it onto this glimmer machine and press that timer button. It's going to take about a minute and once that timer button is solid green, we're ready to start foiling. We're going to add this beautiful foil face down over top of the word and then add a piece of cardstock over top of that. Then we'll take the two plates that the Glimmer machine comes with, we'll layer those on top, take the whole thing out of this base, and then I'm going to run it through a die cut machine off camera. Once we do that, you'll see that we're going to have this beautiful, beautiful hot foiled word. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. You'll see that there's a little bit of foil on the top and bottom. I had to shim my machine because I definitely need a new die cut machine. I have worn mine down uh, and I think I shimmed it just a little bit too much, but it's okay because we're going to be die cutting that with the coordinating die. So we're going to line that up and run that through the die cut machine. And now you'll see that we have this beautiful silvery word on our fog cardstock. And so that little shimmer and shine is really subtle. And I think that's really pretty in this sweet, soft card that we've created here. So we're going to layer that in to our clouds and the fog cardstock is going to match the 
fog mobile, which I think is really, really pretty. And now this card is all done. It's so sparkly and shimmery, and it was so much fun to create. I love it so much. And next up, Shari is going to show us how to use the Big Scripty Words Hot Foil Plates on a non-mobile card. And oh my goodness, is this card amazing. So take it away, Shari. On my card today, I'm going to be ink blending a night sky. So I'm starting out with Seedless Preserves, Villainous Potion, and Uncharted Mariner Distress Oxides. I have a piece of Bristol cardstock that I'm going to do my ink blending on. And I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is the Seedless Preserves. I'm putting this in a generous portion along the bottom. You're just going to see a little bit of this color once I get my little scene created. Most of it's going to get covered up by the ground and the cardstock that I will be using for the ground. I moved on to Villainous Potion and you can see I'm going back and forth between the two colors and I'm going to have a lot of dark in there. But that just makes that line between the colors sort of blend away. Now I'll move on to the Uncharted Mariner, which is a lovely dark blue teal color. And I'm going to put that all over the top. And I am grabbing a piece of scrap cardstock to use to hold my cardstock in place so that I don't get any fingerprints on it. And then again, I'll go back to that Villainous Potion and pull that up into the blue, blending those two colors together. I actually like the look of the purple and the blue blended together, so I don't have any like just Uncharted Mariner by itself. All of it has a little bit of that purple blended in, and I think this is a really nice nighttime sky. Finally, I'm going in with some black soot distress oxide and just darkening up the very edges of this. And once I have that looking the way I want, I'm going to add some gold metallic splatters to create some stars. I am flicking it off the side of a block so I get some small splatters. And then I'm also tapping my brush so I get some larger splatters and I have a different variation in the sizes. You can see there that I did have some water droplets and I decided to add a few more just plain water and then pick those up with a paper towel so I had some light areas in my inking. And then that is the completed night sky that I will set aside to completely dry. Now for my images I'm using the Ferris wheel from Wheelie Great Day and a couple of the characters and I wanted to make a birthday card so I decided to pull out the little elephant and mouse from Fly High because they have party hats and then also use that single balloon from Coaster Critters. So you can see I've already colored and cut out all of those images and then I'm just going to vary where they are. So I'm separating my two characters that have party hats and then the other three characters I'm going to add the little balloons to. I also wanted to make sure that the fox, because he's orange, did not end up in the orange bucket of the Ferris wheel, and the same for the frog, which is green. So I kind of planned out where I wanted each of these characters to go. For the balloons, I'm just kind of tucking them behind so that I don't cover them up too much, and it kind of looks like the end of the balloon goes down towards their paw, like they're holding the balloon. And my last little critter is this green frog in that blue bucket. And I just think this is a really fun birthday Ferris wheel. Now this is going to go onto that night sky that I created. But for the sentiment, I wanted to bring in some of that shimmer. So I'm going to hot foil the word birthday from the Big Scripty Hot Foil Words onto a piece of peacock cardstock with a piece of prism foil. So my Hot foil plate is already nice and warm. I'm putting my foil with the pretty side down, my piece of cardstock. I use a piece of typing paper to make sure I don't get any foiling onto my plates. And then I'll put my two plates on top and run this through my die cut machine. And there is that beautifully foiled sentiment. Now because these words match the big scripty words stamp set, the dies match the foil plates as well. So I'm just lining up the die that matches the word birthday and I'll run this through my die cut machine and die cut that word out. It's going to be layered on top of this darker colored cardstock which is the rainforest cardstock. So you can see that that's going to stand out nicely. 
So I've put everything into my Misty. I cut the background piece with a stitch rectangle as well as that piece of Rainforest cardstock. I'm just holding the scripty birthday in place with my magnet and I'm going to heat emboss the rest of my sentiment that says have a willy great. So this is from the willy great day set. I'm lining it up and I'm going to mask off the word day so that I just get the first part of the sentiment and not that one word. So I've picked it up with the door of my Misty and I'm just taking a piece of low tack tape and covering up the word day so that I don't get any of the ink on it. I've already prepped my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool and I'm adding some clear embossing ink. I'll stamp that down and you can see how the word day is missing and I'm going to add some gold embossing powder to this to match my beautiful foiling and my gold splatters in the sky. So I'll just heat this up with my heat tool. I like to heat it from the back when I use gold to make sure that I don't overheat it and melt it too much and you can see I get that really pretty shiny gold sentiment. So now that I have this placed on here, I can cut the top of my hill with a simple stitched hillside border die. And I'll just hold that in place with some tape and run it through my die cut machine as well. Now I'm going to start to assemble my card by putting the ink blended background onto a card base. For the ground, I did add foam tape all over the back of this so that I can make sure it was nice and stuck down and flat and get rid of any warping that I had from heat embossing the sentiment. Now for that foiled Big Scripty Words birthday, I thought it would be nice if it was a little bit thicker so it was popped up off the background slightly. So I just used the coordinating die and cut out two more of that birthday and I'm just using some dots of glue to stack these on top of each other and create a nice thick sentiment. Then I will just glue that directly to the ground at the bottom right underneath the embossed sentiment. And I like how we have that gold sentiment at the top and then that foiled sentiment below. Now I can add my ferris wheel, so I've just put some foam squares all over the back of it as well since that ground is popped up. And then I'll just add a little bit of liquid glue to the base of the ferris wheel that touches the hillside. And pop that right into the center. And I love this brightly colored ferris wheel against that nighttime sky. It makes me think of like the carnival at night when everything is lit up, which I think is really fun. And then I'm using the fishtail banner borders and I've cut my fishtail banners, the main part out of black, and then all of the little banners out of a rainbow of solid cardstock colors. And I thought this would be fun to layer towards the top like we were in the carnival. So I just kind of snugged that one down below the foam that's behind that balloon that fit in there perfectly behind that foam square. And then I'll just trim off the excess pieces and make sure that the very ends of the string are glued down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the banners on this one. I like that it gave me six across so I can get one banner of every color that I cut out. Now I did cut out some that had the little star shape in them, but I decided to keep it simple and make them all solid. So I'm using raspberry cardstock, fake tan, sunflower, cilantro, peacock, and sugar plum. And then I can layer my second one over top. And this is why I went ahead and put the banners on before layering the second one because I knew that those little fishtail pennants would overlap a little bit. And then for this one, so that they don't line up exactly, I'm going to put my colors in the opposite order, starting with the purple on the left. And this way they don't line up exactly. You could have just taken them in the same order and shifted them as well and gotten the same effect. And of course, nothing is complete without some glitter. So I've got my stickles here and I'm adding some to the center of the Ferris wheel a little bit to the balloons and the party hat so that each little critter has a little bit of sparkle. 
and then here is my finished card. I just think it is so pretty with all that gold shimmer, the shimmer of the splatters, the shimmer of the embossed sentiment, and of course, the shimmer of that hot foil sentiment, which is so pretty. I also really love the bright colors of the images and the die cuts against that dark nighttime sky. Oh my goodness, Shari. I am in love with this card. That nighttime sky is so pretty. And I love how you combine the hot foil word with a stamp sentiment. I think it's such a fun mix and match together. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, we have this beautiful card by Grace. And I love that she used her hot foil sentiment directly onto her card and then layered a really cute die cut over top of it. Next up, we have the incredible card by Yanea that inspired us to make ours today. It's just so pretty, and I love that hot foiled sentiment and that beautiful mobile. This card by Elise is so sweet. I love how she added the tiny friends into the wheelie great day and how she used the love ya sentiment there at the bottom. It's just so sweet. Audrey used the corner rainbow stencils to create a really cool background for her beautiful layered congrats and hooray, and I just love this look so much. This card by Rebecca is so sweet and so soft, and I love the pastel colors on the mobile. And then here, Mindy went for beautiful and bold and created the most gorgeous stenciled cloudy sky in the background for her adorable mobile. This card by Kara is so pretty, and I love the mixture of holographic cardstock and all the different shades of blue. This card here by Mindy is so sweet. The soft shades of blue and the clouds in the background is just gorgeous. I love how Callie created kind of like a pastel background over top of her dotted moon and stars and the bold colors on her mobile are just so sweet. I only wish the mobile in Elena's card was a real mobile because oh my goodness I love the white mixed with the wood grain look and then those beautiful leaves that she added into it are just stunning. And then here is the card by Megan that inspired us to make ours. I think this scene that she created is so sweet and I love that you can use the mobile on its own or with cute stamped critters. And then this card here by Leticia is so sweet. Look at all of that beautiful pink glitter. I love it so much. So we cannot wait to see your mobile cards and we cannot wait to see your hot foil cards. So make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.